Hello, hello to all amazing people. The Niemer here with some more videos of a nice, chill, enjoyable playthroughs, but also quite, uh, you know, competent playthroughs and winning a lot. So if that's something you like, maybe stay a while and listen. I'm playing against the storm. It's a roguelite city builder. This is like episode three or four here. And uh, yeah, we have our city on Prestige 3, I believe. If you want to check this uh, city out from the scratch, you can check out the playlist in the comments and the description below. Uh, in the same playlist, you can also watch all the other videos as well. But if you're going to stick around and well, then relax, sit back and enjoy. And if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. So last time we built this small outpost to my uh, booming city here. This outpost is meant mostly to harvest eggs, basically, but it will also serve like a nice jumping point to grab some more trees here, uh, make it easier because the old warehouse is starting to be really, really far away from all the trees and trees are usually the backbone of your economy in this wonderful game. So we are on Drizzle year five right now. Well, we are in year five, it's Drizzle right now. And uh, we had like this nice trader bring us a Drizzle totem. So things are looking quite, quite comfortable right now. And, you know, we're getting some beaver houses up. I guess we're gonna upgrade this thing to a uh, neighborhood as soon as we can. Yeah, let's unpause and go and play it out. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna build some beaver houses here. Maybe we can even move some of those because here 26 out of 14 we have more than we actually need moving beaver houses. Oh Beaver houses can be moved for free. I wonder what why that is I was not aware of that Beaver houses can be moved for free How about normal houses can also be moved for free. Okay. Do we have like some kind of bonus? Ah, the power of our nearby monument makes everything feel lighter. You can move most buildings in your settlement. That's insane. I can move my main warehouse. I can move my main... Wait, what? This is stupidly OP. I just... Wait, what? Oh, I cannot move my, my, my ancient heart though. Like, what? I can just redo my whole city for free? I'm probably not gonna do it, but that's amazing. Anyhow, we have some newcomers here. Uh, so we have two humans, a beaver, two of these. We got some stone. Yeah, let's grab the stone. Although copper bars could be useful. No, we have more people than we have storage for. So uh, let's go and build a... Oh my god. We can move everything for free it doesn't even matter where we build it we can just reposition it oh gosh oh gosh well let's start by getting this crazy road i've built by accident out of the way there we go that ugly thing is gone isn't that much better so yeah right so the foxes are so stupidly happy they give us a lot of uh Resources, we can actually make them even happier. Bam! Foxes, you're my favorite. Beavers, you know you're my favorite, right? Anyway, Foxes, you're my favorite, so... Yeah. What is this thing? Oh, we have a lot of extra people right now, so we better get them to work. Um, although right now we are building quite a few houses, also this thing will need like four decorations to actually start being super useful. So let's build some benches here next to the heart. And maybe some behind as well. Like here and here. There we go. Isn't that just wonderful? Chop, chop, chop. Let's go. Bam. Let's get some uh, mushroom collectors going. Mushrooms are like... And we can make a new building. Ooh. ooh, ooh. What is gonna be? Your renown grows. You can now choose from one of the available blueprints that the queen offers you. So we can go for smithy. We could be using it to make tools. We can go for ba baker and make biscuits. Now, the problem with biscuits is you need flour. This map is not rich in veggies. So, yeah, not really that interesting, this building. Herb garden. We could grow herbs. Now, that's interesting. That's really interesting because we actually have some place here which where we could grow herbs and i believe herbs can be used oh they can be used to make porridge and they might even be a 
Okay, we cannot use them to make skewers. But you know what? I should use jerkies to make skewers and I need a building which will make it possible. What a wonderful building this is. We can make ale. We can make copper bars from it. We just need copper ore, but we'll be able to get that by building a mine. That's gonna be quite cool. But anyway, herbs seem like a good idea. Renewable sources of porridge. Mm, my foxes do love porridge, that's for sure. So, let's go for it. Herb garden. Bam. Let's go and build it. Now, herb garden. Oh, look, this is a good position. This is also a good position. I think I like this one a little bit better. Let's fix the thing then. There we go. And place down the herb garden. Ah, isn't that just beautiful? Just beautiful. Between two warehouses, they will not be able to decide which one to use. That's fine. That's okay. Two planks. Yeah, not really that expensive. Oh, I can't wait to get my herb garden going. That's for sure. What is this? Oh, copper and clay source. Hello. Hello there. Um... What if I make a mine? Now mines... Hmm. Mines require four bricks. Okay. So let's go and make some bricks then. Yeah, if I can click correctly. Competent gameplay, he says. Winning a lot, he says. He can't even click properly. Okay. Now it would be better if we had like a more efficient thing to do that in, but it's okay. It's all right. We need 10 amber. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna need a fire brigade at some point to get some more of these. For now, it's fine. But in the next year, we'll definitely need to get that up and going. Right. Is everything built here? Okay. Can we get these done? Well, we have less builders now, so it's gonna take a little bit more. I'm gonna put a mine here, though. What's up with you? Uh, why are you not working? Pick an upgrade? Wait, what? Uh, ring pump, geyser pump. Used to extract the pump infused rainwater through underground price through production buildings. Where it can be used to increase productivity. It must be placed on active geyser. It has a tank capacity of 50. Specialization bonus, right? So I should probably use foxes instead. Okay, let's, let's start by using foxes then. Do we have like a, a free fox somewhere not doing anything smart? Okay, we have some in here. I'll put a human in here. There we go. Uh, but we can automate it. A ring punk automaton will permanently occupy one works place. It doesn't eat and doesn't need to rest. Its sole purpose is to work. Automatons have no chance of producing double yields. Increases tank capacity by 50 and... A ring punk automation will permanently occupy one workplace. Oh, it takes wildfire essence though. That's a really limited resource that we need for small hearts. If I want to place another small heart, yeah, I don't think we're gonna go for it. Yeah, that seems a bit steep. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna remove one of these from here and be like, you go there. You guys go there, bam. Now you're even happier. They have a nice, beautiful workplace. So wherever there is water, they just love working with rainwater. Okay, then we got a trapper's camp. There. Got a distillery. Distillery also rainwater working place. Yeah, my foxes are super happy right now. They're giving me a lot of... Yeah, they actually give me more more uh more we get more blue than red right now so pfft. gg easy game easy life right yeah i think so okay everyone has a house now and is this place finally upgraded no because we need two more people but we can go and be like hey there beavers how about moving bam nice now we need four of these so we already placed them down we just need some people to come here and actually build it well, that's good Let's see how we're doing with food and stuffs. So food, we have lots of skewers. Our porridge production is a little bit lacking. Um, 
I mean, I can tell them to use the clearance water since that's what we are pumping in like crazy here, right? Yeah, it keeps being full, so. Just use that. Yeah, that's nice. And we use mushrooms. We're running out of mushrooms. So it's really important that we're getting this thing up, which we are. There we go. And we're going to get some humans in here. Now, let's see. Where do we have humans? Okay. <laughs> Uh, that poor trapper scan. They're like, why can't he decide? And who works here? Uh, I don't know. Okay, now we're missing a builder though. So, you know what? Let's take uh, let's uh, let's take one of these out. Maybe. Hmm. How are we doing with wood and stuff? Let's see. Here, we have a lot of wood, so that's pretty good. But we're gonna keep doing the wood cutting, not just because of wood. Okay, this dude is fine. Uh, let's move him like here. There we go. Let's redo this so no accidents happen. I mean, eventually I'm gonna go into these glades. It's just that day is not yet. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Okay, we have one. Why do we have a human inside the lumber camp? That's so weird. Okay. Anyway, can we make some more bricks, please? Would be wonderful. Uh, idling? Why are you idling? Oh, because... No. Wait, what? Oh, because we reached a limit of 8. Huh. That's fine, though. That's fine. Let's go place down a mine. I kind of like that, actually. They don't go through all of the clay. Okay. Go. Plant. Plant, plant, plant. Oh, we're getting so much reputation. Yeah, I really like it when I get some nice reputation from one of the races. That that really gives me a lot of points here. It's pretty pretty good. So, yeah. Right, do we actually have a builder right now? A rain collector. Do we actually need a rain collector? Well, I need it during the storms for the storm water for this thing, right? But right now, no, not so much. Let's get some of these going. Okay, let's make it out of wood. That's fine. Okay. Ta -da! Even human and beavers are like, yep, the foxes definitely deserved it. They are really trying to help us out with the whole thing and... Okay, so we now made enough room for what? For mine? Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's move this thing a little bit to the right. Get some more wood going and get some wood from here. Isn't that just lovely? And we're getting some mushrooms from there. And the storms are coming. It's okay. Well, I don't want to be on four though, so we're going to cut this down. So, let's see. Okay, beavers. Let's go to hostility of three, if possible. There, good. And yeah, you can go and make some planks now. Everyone else can go and like build, I guess. Okay, making some planks. Can we get the mine going? Oh, we are getting the mine going. That's good. Okay, now beavers are not happy. So are not humans. Okay, I can unfavor the foxes for a bit here. There we go. So that's gonna be fine. And let's get... You like engineering, don't you? Oh, that's gonna make them happy. Okay, let's get one of them more out of the wood shopping. There we go. Engineer, get me some coal and copper ore. So they're on zero now. So hopefully this circle empties before this one does, because then we can make them... You're my favorite! And then everyone else is gonna pay pissed, but the window for people living will actually be gone, so. And I'm gonna be like, no, you're my favorite, please don't leave. And they are so easily swayed, dude. And the storm's gonna end soon, so that's gonna be that. Um, I totally forgot though that I want some storm water, whoops. <laughs> Let's see if they can collect some. Uh, that was a mistake. That's ah, okay though. We only need storm water for making planks here. It would be ideal if you can make some more, but not gonna be too sad here. Right. 
and just like that the storm ends and I'm gonna suck up to my weasels again and I mean foxes sorry and let's get the okay now we are building we are working the mine which is really good for coil and copper ore so but then we don't have enough of these to wood shop okay let's empty one of these lumber mills I guess there we go I can get more people beavers let's go uh, not many beavers. Ooh, they bring amber. I'm gonna take the meat, I think. Well, one beaver in any case. Okay. Okay, let's get one more in here. Let's see the cornerstone. Deserted caravans. Global production 33% faster. Traders take 50% uh, more time to arrive. Okay, that's not too bad, I think. That's gonna be a huge boon. Without restrictions. Villagers have a plus 10% chance of receiving bonus yields from production, but consumption is... Control is disabled. I don't mind about consumption control be disabled. One who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with all. Every glade event resolved by making a decision marked as empathy lowers hostility by minus 40. The bonus is added interactively. Expected gain zero. Um, yeah, this is a good question. We could go global production faster. Let's do that. It's going to take a little bit longer for people uh, to arrive, the traders. But I don't mind that too much. Oh, this is a new dude. Dalahan Warlander is coming to the settlement. Might have metal fabrics, crafting materials and packs of goods for sale. He also sells mystery boxes. He's willing to buy packs of goods, luxury items, crafting materials, cooked food and some raw resources. Hopefully he buys planks. And if not, well, whatever, dude. I didn't like you anyway, so... Yeah. Anyhow, we have some new people now, so... Okay, we got three beavers there, we have three beavers there. We have no more beavers. How many beavers do we have? 13, right. So four in here, three in here, that's seven. Three in here, that's 10. And then two in here, that's 12. And where is the... Where is the 13th beaver? This is the missing case of the 13th beaver. And he's inside the trapper's camp for some reason. That's not good. Okay. Mr. 13th beaver. You're gonna go and you're gonna work here. There we go. Good. What else? Okay. How many of these fuels we have? Three. Okay. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna tell foxes enough of this water. I need you to make preparation for the blight there we go and okay what is this thing right it might be time to open up another glade to tell you the truth what is this oh we can pick new orders let's do it the cross sends you new orders vice pick one and the rest will go to the other settlements temple 24 farm fields and 20 crop plots now this is kind of hard to do on this map but this is also not the easiest one ever right temple 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 mm. i mean i can probably do this one though plus rewards are pretty nice parts are so hard to get okay have at least two hearts upgrade to level neighborhood that's really easy oh this is broken i want this yeah and then this thing okay burn at least 20 blight root cysts anik deliver 15 purging fire you get 50 boxes of porridge this is nice i like it let's grab that Right, so we're gonna need six more people here. It shouldn't be too hard. How is, are you doing? We have way more than enough. I'm just gonna move the beavers up here and that's gonna be it. There, two more. Okay, how about you guys? Wanna live in the new neighborhood? We're way more progressive than the other dudes. Not really, but okay. Um, now we can upgrade this thing to the neighborhood. We're gonna need some decorations though, so I'm gonna be like bench, 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 and then we're gonna be like a garden. Why not? Okay, okay, foxes are not happy enough, so I'll be like, you will always my favorite. <laughs> I hate lying, but it is what it is. I just didn't get the buildings to make the beavers happy. It's almost like I'm abusing them. Yeah, I just say, 
Okay, so what is these leaves here? We have no corruption. I think we are fine. Okay, 0 0.23 reputation per minute. That's just great. I like that. Now, let's start building some human houses as well. You know what? I'm being silly. <laughs> let's build them next to the warehouse and then move them where we need them. <laughs> we have one of the best modifiers and I'm actually not using it to my advantage. There we go. It's a disgrace, that's what it is. Small herbalist camp has no deposits nearby. Well, isn't that a tragedy? Off you go, get mushrooms from the forest instead. That works out for me quite fine. Now, what is this place? An apothecary, what is that? We can make tea here. Who likes tea though? Fox housing, pickled goods, brawling, luxury, treatment. Oh, we need tea, but also a place where to drink it. So, hmm. yeah. I mean, like my settlement is nice and under control. We... Okay, I'm just gonna make a humans really happy now, so. Trader arrived. And he's not buying almost anything. Dude, like, who are you? What are these boxes? Small mystery box. A mysterious box full of surprises. It contains a small number of goods and one uncommon perk. Huh. <laughs> a medium number and one or two rare perks. Uh, that's really interesting. Hmm. How expensive would it be to do this, though? There's no way. I just don't have what he needs. And barrels are not really that expensive either. Uh, that's so bad. Like, I just don't have what he wants. There to see what's inside the box. Well, I do want to know, but... Maybe I can see the small... I mean, we know what's inside the box. It's just a perk, right? And it's a random one, so... I don't think I should do it. Yeah, maybe some other time. Hooded Trickster. I wish I could see like the whole list of stuff he would like to buy. Okay. Mm, I can complete this one. Yeah, let's complete it. That will skyrocket my planks production. Okay, go away. And then... Okay, why are these not working? Oh, because this thing is not on. That's pretty bad, actually. <laughs> they should be working. Oh, well. Oh, well. So we got some extra people, but what do we have them work on? Okay. Okay. This is really good. We are producing coal. We can use that to... We're probably using that to burn, right? Yeah, that's the most efficient way to do it. And we are out of these. But that's fine. We are mining for some more, right? No, we are not. Okay, wait. Ah! We can get some by accident here. Right? Yeah, we have some stones here. So, yeah. Every now and then we get some from here. But I think I'm going to be like, okay, that's enough of that. There we go. And this thing is not working because we are lacking mushrooms. Okay. It might be time, ladies and gentlemen, to open up another place for more mushrooms. Mm. I mean, I am planting herbs. So this place... This place can use the herbs from now on. Don't use the mushrooms, right? For porridge. Use herbs for porridge and use mushrooms for skewers. I could also use the meat. Now, ideally, I would turn meat into jerky first. I didn't get the jerky building yet. However, however, we get two... Oh, we have two buildings to choose. Hello. Cookhouse. 
Skewers, biscuits and pigments. That's not very interesting. Tavern, bakery. Hmm. Tavern. Plus three to global resolve. I mean, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, small farm. We could grow grains. What would we do with the grains, though? Can't use it here. So here we're using eggs. That's fine. Plus, we're already planting herbs for this, right? Yeah. We could use grains, but it's the same thing, really. And we're using what? Clearance water, which we're pumping out from the ground. Yeah. So that's nice and set. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, it's going to take 20 minutes, 22. He might have metal fuel tools, building materials, a number of blueprints and perks for sale. He's willing to buy packs of good resources, advanced, but did So he's going to buy planks. Now, question is, when do I pull the trigger? I have 202 planks. I could pull it now, really. Okay, let's see what's up with these. It's like they need a little bit more to push them over the edge. So I think my my time of making, yeah, they need 30 now to be super happy. So yeah, we're gonna need to figure out some other things, All right? Um, you know what? Let's grab the tavern. Oh, a fox house. Hello. Market. A place where villagers can fulfill their need for luxury treatment passive effects. Market carts. Small wooden carts. Global carrying capacity increased by 10. Okay. That's interesting. We can get some wine. Oh, tea. We can, we can satisfy the need for treatment if we can make some tea. Okay. And I can make tea here out of... Out of herbs and water and oof, this is hard crystallized dew now this is scary i'm not a huge fan oh we can make biscuits here okay um hmm i'm gonna need way more herbs than i actually have right now so maybe we don't go for that yet i can build fox houses we need crystallized dew for those that's a little bit scary but you know what Let's do it. Main reason is if you build like six of these. Okay, let's move these first so they're not in the way. That will make foxes happy enough that we'll be able to um, tavern, right? Not time for the tavern yet. But this will make foxes happy enough that we're going to get some more reputation out of them. We're going to try to milk them as much as we can. Three, four, five, six. There we go. How many builders do we actually have right now? Seven. Okay, that's going to get up really, really fast. Yeah, I don't need clearance water. Okay, get these. Oh, why are you planting roots? I don't want roots. I just want herbs. Okay, that was a mistake. That's all right. Additional bright root seeds appeared. Yeah, we know that because it's the year six, right? So we have some corruption right now. So, but we're going to take care of it here. We're going to get some more of these going. So it's going to be all right. Okay, these are not working. There are no herbs, but no problem. We're going to grab some herbs now. That's fine. But yeah, I'll need I'll need more places to farm herbs probably. Is this thing neighborhood? It is wonderful. We cannot go to the next one. Because we didn't unlock it yet, right? Yeah, okay. That's okay. Fine with that. Your population 25. Your population 13. Okay, we need to move some hawk foxes back here. There we go. Bam. That's solved. Good. So now foxes love us again. So that's pretty great. Good. Wonderful. Uh, right. So we're going to get a lot more reputation. Yeah. Now, right now we are winning on top of the, on the backs of the foxes, really. And let's see. I probably want to be a little bit more efficient with things. So I could definitely make another mine here, maybe. 
Can we grab this thing? <laughs> Traders will arrive 15% quicker. So right now they arrive 50% more time. Yeah. So I could do this to get to attract the traders back, but it's probably better to send it to Citadel. We don't have any tools though. So yeah, we need to figure out. We're gonna get a lot from reputation and from missions, but we're gonna need like usually I find some ways to make the tools. So that's how it usually goes. Okay, let's make it. Well, this one's probably better off here, actually. Let's see if this actually works out, because it's a little bit crowded here. Hopefully the woodworkers, okay. Yeah, they're going through, they found their, they found their way, that's fine. Okay, let's make sure we don't make too many of these, though. So I'm gonna stop now, I think. Well, it's okay, make a couple more. We have plenty of wood, so... Yeah, it's okay. Go. Oh, no, I was just about to say, go foxes. Go, and then it's like, they got a little bit less happy. Why are you not happy? Oh. Well, I can reduce the hostility. Come on, be happy. What? I reduced the hostility. Hmm. Oh, we run out of porridge. Okay, we are making some more now. Well, the, the storm's coming. Okay, let's turn this off then. And uh, let's also... We stay on four. No, we want to go down to three. Oh, really? One more? Okay. Okay, what do we do with this all these extra people? We can put beavers inside here. We can put oh we need storm water there. Well actually be these. Oh will this make you happier? It probably will. Working in here. Now the, the brigade's gonna come out and they're gonna work on the cysts. So these are the cysts, they're causing uh, corruption, and you need a fire brigade here from the blight post to go. And you can see here. So these are now active, we can destroy them. And you can see uh, a uh, fox here wielding a, a gun, spewing blight fire out and destroying the cyst. Look at them go. Mm -hmm. They're basically, f f how do we call it? Flame throwing, wielding uh, foxes. And we're finally gonna get some storm water so this thing works faster. So that's gonna be kind of cool. The beavers are upset like they usually are, so. I have to suck up to them a little bit here, that's all right. And yeah, we'll just wait out the storm here. And then I'll uh, unfavor these. We're gonna favor back the foxes and uh, let's see what else. Well, I'll definitely put back my woodcutters to work, right? Mm-hmm. So let's see, okay, uh, let's see, take these out, right, and put them in here. We have more people that we are using right now. Okay, put one in there. Good, and then, I don't know. Yeah, these are like, we have something to cut here. We opened very little in this mission. Uh, because I'm feeling so comfy right now with what we have. Okay, we have 11... 14 fuel. Well, they're happy in here though, right? No, maybe not. Okay, these are fine. They can do their thing. Yeah, I'm feeling like porridge. How many? Okay. Yeah, we need more of these. Mm. Okay, this is working. This is working. I mean, I can have some humans sit here. It's not as efficient, but I have more workers than I need to. Okay, we have like a gazillion of leather though. So I put some humans in here. I'm gonna tell them you can go and work this. Let's see, this is the only place I can do that at. Okay. We get some new people. Mm, these dudes are bringing me cash. But these dudes, they are bringing me two parts. Which means 
I can probably sneak in another wood chopper's hut now. I'm not sure I want that many though. We're already doing so well on wood chopping and everything. Mm. Lumber mill. Distillery. Oh, what is this thing? It's a distillery. This is where we make porridge. We could make another porridge building, I guess. Trader is on the way. That's all right. They're like... The, the warehouses are full. We cannot get use out of it. Uh, like... What is what are you working on? Oh, what is this thing? Upgrades can be placed. Oh, we can upgrade this thing. Where machines can't, a pony will be sent. Strong warehouses will help mine scare excavated materials. Increase the production speed by 50%. A deeper mine level refills newer deposits, 50 copper or 80 or really, how that is not even that expensive. Really? I I didn't know we can do that. Whoa, this mine just keeps on giving. So once they are once they finish these resources, we can get some more. All right. Trapper camp, nothing here. Oh, wait, can I improve the efficiency of this thing? Oh, I would really much love to. Okay, it can use drizzle water. Sure, let's go. Let's do some piping here. So we can increase the production speed. Hmm. We can actually improve like the happiness of these foxes inside here that's gonna be pretty nice look at them being happy because like i made these two very happy and then bam 34 <laughs> oh the reputation welcome welcome to my settlement that's really really nice so i'm building another one not sure why we're not gonna use it but that's okay um I think I need more specialized houses than I have right now. So, is this thing full with people? Yeah, but... Okay, some human houses here. One, two... There. Cool. I'm very happy how this is going. Yep, we are definitely winning now. Because our reputation is going up with the help of the foxes. And... Yeah. And as we reach more of these milestones, we're going to get some more buildings, which will probably let me make humans or uh, beavers happy, which in turn is going to unlock me more ways to earn reputation points. Let's see how much we need to win. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. I still didn't do most of the orders, so I can still get like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 here. So I'm going to need to get 6 somewhere else. We're going to get a couple from reputation. That's fine. And then the rest usually comes from caches like these, but we're going to need tools for that. So yeah, I'll probably call this dude early uh, for half a impatience point, which is going to be fine. Let's get the cornerstone though. Zork's secret ingredient. A mysterious ingredient is scored by the famous chef and businessman Zork. Gain 10 skewers for every 10 pickled goods produced. I wish it was the other way around. Wood cutting is a lot easier. Yeah, let's go with easier wood cutting here. Okay. I mean, it's already super easy, but... Like, we are just like... Every time I play with beavers and make the lumber mills, the game is so, so easy. It's just that planks, like a huge production of wood and planks gets things rolling like crazy. It's almost unbelievable how good it is. Uh, right, but I will make a cut here. So let's see which part of city do we want to look at. Maybe these beautiful fox houses. Yeah, that seems like a nice thing to do. Like something like that. Look at it. A nice row of houses. All the only thing they're missing is that road I deleted. So this what it is. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you to have a wonderful day. Do something nice, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next episode of Against the Storm. The Niemer signing out. Bye bye.